Good morning, friends of Flight Radar 24. Again from Stockholm's Arlanda Airport, although in the airport hotel right now, the Clarion Hotel, that's just across from the terminals. Actually heading out on a little bit of a Euro adventure. Staying within Europe, but flying some intriguing airlines or aircraft or both. So of course, who else would we start off with but Ethiopian Airlines. They fly a 787 every day up from Addis Ababa and then over to Oslo. And you can buy a ticket on the Stockholm to Oslo flight. 40 minute flight, cost about 50 bucks, 550 kroners. What a nice way to experience Ethiopian Airlines. Believe it or not, I'm in economy today. Business was something like 700 USD, which seems unreasonable for the route. Their business class, it looks like it could be nice or not, depending. Uh, I've never flown them long haul. Let's go check out Ethiopian Airlines. It was supposed to be the 787-9. It seems to be the 787-8 instead. That doesn't really make a difference to me, uh, but I did notice that they often will list it as a-9 and swap it to a-8. So just in case that matters to you. Just walking by the new security area that we got a sneak peek of in our behind the scenes at our Orlando video. It looks like they've taken down this wall that was here and uh, you can now see the beginnings of, and uh, they're getting there, they're almost ready. It's supposed to be due to be completed in the summer. So it looks like hopefully they're on track for that. All right, it took 15 minutes from leaving the hotel room to clearing security. Not bad today. I have fast track with a credit card, even though this boarding pass, I guess, wouldn't get me fast track, even though I'm star gold. Here's the bizarre thing. Sweden and Norway have completely open borders in terms of travel between. It's, it's Schengen zone, it's, it's uh, no passport check normally. But to board this Ethiopian flight, you do have to go through passport control here. So you're exiting Sweden, entering nothing in particular, the aircraft, which is sort of Ethiopia at this point. And then presumably when you get to Oslo, you have to show your passport once more. So a weird one for a 40 minute flight between two countries that normally requires nothing like that. Nothing else, the boarding is easy because there are about six or seven of us. I guess that answers the question, how many people join here? I'm guessing it's a similar amount on a given day. Most people are continuing through if they're going to Oslo or they've gotten off here. This is a reasonably comfortable way to fly to Oslo. I mean, you get this wide body space, and in economy, it's nice. It's uh, enough legroom, I think. Nothing special, but it's not terrible either. It must be a drag for the people who have come in from Addis who have to sit here now for an hour and a half or so to wait for, to do the last little 40 minute leg to Oslo. That must be a drag, but as someone who slept in a bed the night before, Great way to go, a little early for the departure time, but uh, gets you into Oslo in good time for uh, any kind of business you might have to attend to. I don't have any business in Oslo. In fact, later today, I'm gonna be flying back to Arlanda to catch a flight to Dublin, but we'll spend the day in Oslo airport and uh, see what we find there. Mostly the lounge, mostly sitting in the lounge and eating free food and editing. The crew will provide life vests for infants.
screens do not work at all here in my row. I don't know if they're just turned off for this short sector or if they're just broken. And these remotes would be a drag if they did work because they're perfectly placed to accidentally press on them when you rest your arm. It may not be super visible, but things are grimy in here, and kind of worn out. It's also just dirty from the flight the night before, I think. Not the best look. We had a choice of orange juice, water, or apple juice. Not bad for uh, economy service on this flight. I think it's far more than you would receive on uh, SAS in the back unless you paid for it. I'm not sure if it's evident, but this descent felt much steeper than usual, and we slammed pretty hard into the runway. So I'm here now in Oslo after that brief Ethiopian 787 flight. Would I take that flight again, given that there are so many other options on Norwegian and SAS? I don't think so. There's the added hassle of going through passport control in each direction, usually pretty quick, but you never know. And depends on your passport for sure. The line for the non-EU passports, in this case, coming into Oslo was much longer. Uh, it would have taken a while. and. I don't know, that plane is just not in a great state after the flight from Addis. It doesn't seem like they clean it. The bathrooms were disgusting. The whole thing felt kind of grimy, both from lack of cleaning, but also, I think, just a sort of general state of disrepair, at least in economy. I was not impressed with the state of that aircraft. Flight attendants are friendly. You know, you're not looking for service, you're not looking for anything extravagant, but you want the easiest possible experience if you're just flying from Stockholm to Oslo. SAS definitely gives you that. And if you're connecting somewhere in Oslo, you're gonna to have to go through passport and then security check. Uh, so that's an extra security check to take into account. Overall,
fun novelty, but I wouldn't take it again. Maybe we'll try it in business class one time, but uh, I'm not particularly rushing to get back on Ethiopian anytime soon. Meanwhile, I forgot to mention what the rest of this trip entails, this roughly 65 hour Euro adventure. So we're in Oslo now, and uh, I'm gonna have to transit back via Stockholm later this afternoon to get to Dublin. And in Dublin, I'm gonna pick up the Aer Lingus A330, which they're flying down to Faro in Portugal, a place I've never been, so that's fun. And then we're gonna fly the Jet 2 757 up to Manchester. We're gonna have a little meet up there, I'm hoping, and then back home Friday night. So stay tuned for all that. In Oslo for Flight Radar 24, I'm Gabriel Lee.